So today I am here at the Paramount Studios back lot and they are having Cinegear Expo 2023. There's a lot of stuff to see here for filmmaking, so let's get to it. So I made it over to the Aperture booth and I'm here with Brandon who's going to tell us everything that's new with Aperture. Yes, so here we're going to focus on Amaran a little bit today, some more of the YouTube content creator type products, and we have a lot of exciting products in that range as well. The newest ones that we released over at NAB are the new Amaran 150C and 300C um, alongside the rest of our COV lineup. These are full color um, COV lights, so you have the 150C which is 150 watts of output, so for that compact um, lower wattage if you need that, and then also at a lower price point. Of course, we have for higher output, we have the 300C over here as well. You can see some of the new accessories are released for Amran alongside these lights. So these are the first Amran proprietary accessories. So we have a Bones Mount uh, Light Dome Mini SE right here, which is one of the fastest modifiers you can set up by clicking just the two of my fingers in the back right here, I can close down two sides instantly. All I gotta do is just squeeze like this right here, I can close down two sides, and of course, I can open them back up again in just a few seconds. So this is one of the fastest soft light accessories that we can set up. This is the Light Dome Mini SE. It goes great with something like the 150C or even the 200XS or the COV 60XS or the 100D, etc. It goes great with all of those as well. Now, we also have the Spotlight S over here, which is a projection attachment that's made for a smaller form factor. Um, it can be used really easily with an iris, can be used with gobos, it includes 15 m size gobos. These little shapes right here, I can adjust, adjust this guy real quick so I can adjust the uh, positioning of the gobo, and then I can slide it right back into the frame. Now, I can also adjust the four shutters so I can create a perfect shape in my scene. I can kind of really frame it up against if I want to create a window light, for example. This window light in the background right here with the Spotlight Gobo, the Spotlight SE Gobo, is going to be great for getting you that kind of background breakup in that you see in a lot of YouTubers in the background where they create like a window frame, where they create a little bit of a, a tree light effect. This is what the Spotlight SE is going to be great for, whether you want to do it in color, like this pink I have here with the 300C, or if I want to do it in a daylight, more naturalistic color way. Um, this is going to be great for any, any content creator, any indie filmmaker, anyone who's starting out and wants a full uh, capability light. So something that's full color, like the 150C or 300C, is gonna be able to get you not only color, saturated color, like R, G, and V, red, green, and blue, but also be able to get you um, a lot of functionality in daylight. You're gonna be able to tune it from 2500 Kelvin to 7500 Kelvin. That's really, really warm to really, really cool. In addition, if you wanna step into something that's a little bit more budget friendly, you can even hop over to things like the cob 60 xs or the 200XS, which allows you to get a lot more compact of a range uh, on the 200XS will give you still um, a super high output with that bicolor functionality, 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. That's again, really, really warm to really, really cool. And you can also use these same Bozeman accessories like the Light Dome Mini SE, or even some of the ones from Aperture like the Lightbox 45 by 45, the Lightbox 60 by 90, et cetera. These guys are great starting lights for everyone who wants to build a YouTube studio, studio setup. We can move over here real quick to the Amran flexible lights, the F22C and the F21C. We also have a bicolor variant of each of those that comes in full color and bicolor. That's uh, gonna be 2,500 Kelvin to 7,500 Kelvin. You get a lot of flexibility out of these lights. They're super low profile, super soft, and super lightweight and give you a lot of functionality if you wanna step up your game um, to becoming something like an indie filmmaker and working in that more filmmaking space, this gives you a lot of adjustability and functionality in that range. And then moving over to something that's really quick and easy to set up, we have the P60C and P60X. This is the X variant right here, which is our bicolor variant. We can turn this guy on real quick. We come with these soft boxes and these grids ready to go. And these soft boxes are super easy to set up and pop out. All I gotta do is just take this guy off real quick right here. I can break this down in just a couple seconds, like so. And then I can make this guy compact, again, just like a five in one reflector. So if I want a super easy, quick setup that packs down really light into its own case, the P60C and P60X are really good for that. And then I can also move on to something like the Amran Pixel Tubes or the Amran T2C and T4C on the other side of the booth here. These are great for in-camera practicals if I want to spice up my scene. You'll see a lot of YouTubers uh, adding tubes in the background to kind of add some visual variety to their lighting. Um, so these are great for that. The pixel tubes obviously have internal pixels, so you can create these rainbow chase effects along the length of the pixel. And then the Amaran T2C and T4C are a little bit brighter, and they are non-pixel tubes, and they have external batteries if you want longer output and a lot more functionality, or even just to wield them like a lightsaber. So these are a, a whole lineup of Amaran lights that you can use 
for your YouTube setup, for your creator setup, and for a large range of indie filmmaking applications. You're gonna be able to go really, really far with the Amaran lights, and then once you're ready, you can always upgrade over to Aperture. Okay. Over here we have the Aperture Mini lights. This includes the MC, um, the MT Pro, and the B7C over here. These B7Cs are gonna be great flicker-free bulbs for use in filmmaking. They also have something that's really cool inside this B7C 8 light kit. They're currently charging. Why do they need to charge? It's because they have internal batteries. So I can pull this guy up right now and still be on. And of course I have color temperature control. By color I can adjust the color temperature as well as full RGBWW uh, full color control. So I can actually grab everything over here on the Sidus Link app. Just connect all fixtures right here and just toggle the color. Let's make everything here green. So I can do that all super easily on all these lights from each of the MCs, the MT Pros, to the B7Cs with the Sidus Link app, which is one of the most popular lighting apps in the market for controlling uh, your lighting in any filmmaking or YouTube creator application. And if you want to find out more information, go ahead and check out Aperture.com. So while wandering around here at Cinegear, I bumped into somebody who you guys just might know. Now this is somebody, I'm gonna call him Photo Joseph. You know this guy? Hey Joe, what have you uh, found while you're wandering around here of any, you know, anything you, that you've liked, that you've seen? I'll tell you, the, the only one thing that I have found here is right there, the pizza. <laughs> I have been standing here on this Lumix booth since this thing started today. I have not stepped off of this uh, like 20 square foot area except to go get pizza. So I gotta tell you, what's best here is that pizza and the Lumix booth. <laughs> <laughs> now, are, have you been using the uh, S52X and the S52 or what? Are, yeah. And what are your thoughts of those cameras compared to, let's say, like, I'm still shooting with the GH5 and the GH6. Sure. Um, how would you compare the how would you compare the S52X to the Sony A7S III, which is what I'm shooting on right now? So again, as a as a Lumix guy, I don't really shoot with the Sony, so I can't give you any hands-on comparisons between this and the Lumix gear. But I can tell you, for the S52 and the S52X, it is it is nice to have really good autofocus for a change. So that is really a pretty beautiful thing. Of course, the cameras are amazing, all kinds of awesome features in there. I love getting the ProRes, the raw output, all that good stuff. Uh, shutter angle and synchro scan, something that these guys don't have, but that's okay. But no, I do love those cameras, absolutely. Well, I just bumped into a pretty famous YouTuber who I actually watch a lot of his videos uh, to learn about different equipment and lenses and things like that. What's up, guys? Welcome, Mr. Potato Jet. Ooh, I'm liking this microphone. This is interesting. <laughs> it's got like the display. Can you change the logo on this you thing? You can, yeah. I, I, put oh. you, I put YouTube logos on there because I didn't want to put my face on it. I think you should people. take a selfie and have that. You it's can. It's like a great, great, yeah, you can. You can, yeah, you can. You can do I, it. I, I'll, I'll show you how to oh, do hey, it Thank after. you. Thanks, guys. So uh, is there anything that you've seen that you've, that, that's really stood out here for you? Well, one of the things I think, like, well, yeah, I, I mean, everything. Like, no matter where you look, there's something kind of cool. But I think the thing that I've been hearing about a lot is that you can, there's like a diffusion frame. It's like a two by three or, or, or like you get like a four by four frame to diffuse the light, like a flag, and you can adjust the diffusion. So, yeah, people have been telling us about that. So we want to go find that, which would be cool because you have to carry all these different strengths. But that's more in like the cinematography space, I guess. Uh, in terms of, I hear there's a lot of cool lights out. Um, I mean, there's a little something for everybody, you know? It's kind of hard to pinpoint one thing, but I'm just like obsessed with drones right now, of course, so a lot of drone stuff. But yeah, I mean, everywhere you look, there's something new to see. It's, it's a pretty cool show. So it was pretty cool. Yesterday, I actually bumped into Mr. Photo Joseph. He was, he's a, he was over at the Lumix booth. Ah, okay. So it's kind of cool when you bump into some you know, yeah, you oh, other YouTubers. Here, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah with the Lumix I gotta cameras. go find them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, Mr. Potato Jet on YouTube. So yeah, come check it out. <laughs> Look who I just bumped into. Diogo Acevedo is here hello, hello. at the Cinegear Fest. You're buying so much stuff now. You buy everything. Have you seen anything yet that caught your eye? So much good stuff here. So much good stuff. It's a lot of good stuff over here. We just go crazy over here. Like what? What have it's you like seen? Like kids, like with the candy. <laughs> it's so cool here. Bro. So cool here. I think NBA is way better, right? NBA, NAB, and Las Vegas was better, right? Uh, it's not the same thing. NAB and Cinegear. This yeah. is more geared towards Hollywood and film production. So NAB is different. NAB is more broadcasting, ah, like okay, TV. Okay. So that's the difference between the, the two, the two expos. 
So cool, man. So All right, cool. let's keep going. Well, I made it over to the Godox booth, and I'm here with Jameson, who's going to tell us, what are you guys displaying here at the Cinegear Expo this year? What's up, guys? Welcome to the Godox booth. So first thing I want to show you is uh, our new TP Series tube light. This is a Pixel tube light, um, and they, they're RGB. Um, they're drop proof. They're also weather resistant, so they can get wet. They're very durable, and they basically have tons of effects. You can do uh, a light chase feature. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can even program um, what you shoot. You can program, program them to the light, and the light will reflect what you're doing. So that's one really cool feature of this. They're full RGB. You have millions of colors to choose from. Great for moody scenes or scenes where you want to give it a little bit more style. Um, you know, and, and make it a little more creative looking. Uh, these things are great. Um, the next thing I want to show you guys are more of our budget friendly lights. So these are going to be more of a affordable option. Um, we have your bicolor lights. We also have some RGB fixtures like the SZ150R. Um, it's going to give you millions of colors as well um, and a 150 watt output. Um, and then we've got new panel lights over here that we just released um, that are great for podcast or any YouTube content creators, anything like that. Um, we've got some gobo lights that are going to project spotlight images like you see on that flag right there. And then, um, yeah, we just have lots of lots of options here. So back over this way is more of our new no lead line. And this is more of your professional cinema grade um, equipment. So we have pretty much options for everybody. So one of the lights I'm really excited about as a filmmaker is the new flex panel lights that we have. We have a 200, a 400, and a 600 watt version. And what's really cool about these is they fold up into a tiny, basically a tiny rectangle. So you can take them anywhere. They're great for those that want a really lightweight option to take your lights anywhere you want to go. They weigh maybe two pounds all in all. So um, any of bicolor functionality, the 200 is a 200 watt, the 400 is 400 watt, and the 600 is a 600 watt and uh, they are larger or smaller. And they come with a softbox and a grid like this light right over here, Thank you. which is great for like a key light or if you're doing like an interview for something and you're in a small space, they really, really are cool for that. So, and they actually fit, no matter what the size is, they fit into this case right here, which is really cool. So you have a big panel light that fits into here. So. That's always a lot of fun. And then let me show you some of our uh, our new RGB bulbs. So these actually can fit into anywhere. You can use them just as a standalone unit or you can put them into a lamp and use them as a practical source within your scene. Um, and this is inside our new battery charging case. So if you have a bunch of them, you can actually put them in here, charge the case all in one and uh, you're ready to go. So anyway, thanks, thank you guys for stopping by the Godox booth. Check out godox.com if you want to learn more information about our products. Well, that's going to wrap things up for this video coming to you live from Hollywood at the Paramount Studios and the Cinegear Expo. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed because I've got plenty more coming. So I hope everybody's doing well out there and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.